What's up, y'all? It's Stacey Nage. We back another extra video today, y'all. We got Trevor Jackson sings Ed Sharon. That you said it. Uh, Usher yeah. and Michael Bolton on Song Association with the man himself, Mr. Terrell. Uh, make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe. We feeling the vibe. And I just want to give a shout out. Me and Baby just watched uh, Kai Sinet. Me and Baby just watched Kai Sinet break the number one most sub Twitch streamer ever. And not only break the record, but set a new record mm -hmm. for over 300,000 subs. And not only that, y'all, he did that shit. Third, I'm, not less than 30. On, he did that in 28 days mm -hmm. of streaming through his subathon. And not only that, y'all, he did that on the last day of Black History Month. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Kai, man. That's, that was that was dope. You know, yeah. I've been I've been tuned in every day, and it's just been dope to see. You know what I'm saying? How the mafia? What happened? It had went out, came back in. Oh, um, how the mafia go crazy? You know what I'm saying? But let's get into it right now. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Terrell. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. He's a singer, huh? He's an actor, yes. And dare I say it, a sex symbol. Trevor Jackson but, uh, is here today. How are you, man? Turn around, sexy, the back of your head. You got you got to see oh. the tail. Look at it dangle. You know, it's a dragon tail. We rebranded. Yes. You know what I mean? We don't call it a rat tail anymore. It's a dragon tail. Dragon tail. Yeah, remember? It's like still a rat tail. Oh, like the yes. <laughs> I'm so slow. I did not catch it immediately. <laughs> Definitely still a rat tail. Still a rat tail. <laughs> now, I know there are several people from the female species who clicked on this video and they are fully ready <laughs> for the voice, the aura of Trevor Jackson in this mm. episode. Mm -hmm. Trevor, how in the world? You, you came from Broadway and then you went to Disney and then now you got ladies just throwing panties at you. How did this happen? The evolution of it all. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the panty throwing has been happening since I was very young. Okay. I don't think it's, <laughs> it's, it's been, you know, I just, it's been increasing. It's not like it wasn't happening then. It's yes, happening. yes, yes. The, the volume has yes, just yes. elevated. It's grabbing a little age. I'm thankful, you know, throw the panties. Yeah, I'm thankful. You know, I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. I have a game for you. We have What's a up? lot I to love, discuss, but we're just going to jump on into this game Please. here. I'm, I'm very competitive. I came to win, so. Well, careful. Only a few people have won this game. Bet. Out of like 50 episodes, like only three people have Here's won this game. Here's what I say to that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Challenge. Okay. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. <laughs> oh, <Yeah. laughs> the first word, Trevor Jackson, is feel. It feels good. Oh, he really yeah. is ready. It feels good. Yeah. I just want to say, I remember him from Let It Shine. Um, you know, Grownish. Uh, what's the other movie, baby? Burning, Burning Sands. Sands. And I did not know this man could sing. I should have known because I think he was singing in Let It Shine. But still, like as a grown ass man, I did not know he could sing. I didn't either. I don't think he sung in any of that. Oh, wait. What was that other one? Um, it was another movie. We just looked at it and he had the little the music movie. Superfly. Superfly. But did he sing in it? Yeah. Uh, I don't I don't it's been a minute since we seen that. I just okay. I just wanna say as a grown ass man, I did not know he could sing, y'all. Facts. I didn't know that. Next one. Trevor. Okay, what we're not gonna do today is downplay the vocals. I'm not downplaying the vocals. We got more fun. I can sing. Okay? <laughs> we got more. We got more. If you did not know, you go find out in this video. Chuck, you can sing. When did the singing part start? I got signed when I was 15. Yes. To Atlantic Records, and then I was there for about like four years, and just kind of was told who to be, what to do, uh. how to live. Mm. Couldn't do that. You said no sign. So I left there, and uh, now I'm with Empire. But yeah, that was now I'm. Right on my own music, and I, it's the greatest gift to me because I feel like life is life is a lot. We all know. Once you get older, you're like, oh shit, there's no such thing as an adult. There's just grown kids. Like we all are still trying, still trying to figure things out, right? So <laughs> he got a big but, ass point. man, listen, he got a big point right there. That I have never heard it put that way, but that makes so much sense because we're adults. But I am still lost. <laughs> okay. I still do not know my way. <laughs> That's a huge so. point. Okay. We are still like lost little kids. Right. Trying to navigate 
what they say is supposed to be adulthood. Um, it need to be called. I don't even know what it need I to be called, know. but it ain't. I don't think we should be called adults anymore. Uh, uh, we, it's not giving. We just humans. It's not giving. Uh, music has been able to like. It's been a great thing for me to just get a lot of pain or joy or whatever it may be in my life out. The word is one, and that's O-N-E, like the number. One, like a dream come true. Two, just want to be with the king. We got Three. a beautiful voice. He's given... He has a beautiful voice. It is very beautiful. I'm trying to think of what he's, like, not who he's... Sound like... But like, like who, he, who he remind you of. Yeah, like... Let's let let's let him finish. Yeah. It might come yeah. to you. Girl, it's plain to see that you're the only one for me. And four, repeat the steps. One through three, five. I'll make you fall in love with me. If ever I believe my work is done, then I'll start back at one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about, I was about to do that part for him. I thought he would lift it out. I mean, you can't forget that part. Cause I ain't no singer, but I was definitely about to finish it for him. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I sang that song to every girl I was in love with till I was the age of 17. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every single girl that I thought I liked, that was the first thing she like had. Like, one, <laughs> like a dream come <laughs> true, two. Yeah. I'm talking about FaceTime, and my mom was like, Trevor, who are you talking to? And I've been like, just want to see you with you. <laughs> oh, it wasn't FaceTime, then it was Skype. Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, mine was different since Genuine. We all got one. Yo. We all got one. Oh, yeah, one. different. Yeah, that was mine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my life ain't changed for nothing. <laughs> it's 7 o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop top, cruising the streets, babe. Uh -uh. Hey. I got a real pretty, pretty little thing that's waiting for me. Yeah. Come on now. I pull up, anticipate. Good love won't keep me waiting. I got plans to put my hand in places I've never seen. Girl, you know what I mean. Take you to five. Trevor, this rasp in your <laughs> throat box. <here>. Yeah, <laughs> throat box. <laughs> This heavy boy, I'm so glad yeah. you have decided to lean into that thing and say, This is my own. I'm gonna own this. Uh, that's, you. that's your bag right there. <laughs> it sounds beautiful. Thanks, man. It's called a lot of partying, <laughs> no sleep. Uh, and then there you go. Blues. Um, oh, shoot. Oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> Never thought of that song. Do you have an eclectic type of library in your head? Oh yeah, yeah. Country. I don't really listen to what you'd expect. Man. Oh, what did you listen to, Trevor? I listened. I try to listen to everything, but like I love country. That's my favorite. And then I'll go to you know, Panic at the Disco, Three Days Grace, a little bit of everything. Yeah. Don't judge this black book <laughs> by the cover. Is what he said. Well, every Bless it. Let me to where you are. The rascal. Others who broke my heart. They were like no other stars. Pointing me on my way into your loving arms. This much I know yes. is true. That God bless the broken road that led me straight. I know that song. To mm -hmm. you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. That's what he wanted. I got it. Yeah! That's a rascal for you. God bless it. The broken road. Trevor! You're not joking in here. Classic. That's a classic. That is a classic good country song. But you know Dan and Trey? Of course I know yeah, that. Don't give me great. tequila now. They're you great. know tequila? Yes. <laughs> That's my shit. That's my shit. <laughs> the word is hold. Uh, hold. Uh, hold on. I just want to get to know you. Let's turn around. That is nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, right. oh, oh, oh. That's a buzzer. That's slow oh, down. Oh, <laughs> he said, hold. 
I tried to turn it, I tried to turn it, I tried to turn it. I said, wait, wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> see, I told you, the game is a little hard. Trying. That part, that's the only one I didn't get. It's okay. But we got more, right? How am I supposed to live without you? Tell me, how am I supposed to care? Mm -hmm. All that I've been living for is gone. Ding, 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 ding. If you had told me that Trevor Jackson was gonna come in here and sing 80s rock <laughs> before he came in here and sung 80s rock, I would have slapped your mama. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> your mama's here. Hey, mama. I slapped your mama. Welcome to the show. <laughs> 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 stars. Oh, stars. Oh. And you better sing the right song. I'm gonna tell you a story. Stars. Uh, mm. 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 Oh, shoot. No, it's just, it's not Is that a buzzer? Oh, that's 10 already? That's 10 already. Trevor, yeah. I'm gonna give you a major hint. And Stars. I just. Stars. Oh, I have an idea. Yeah. I think there's a song called Apocalypse by Trevor Jackson. I want you to start singing that song. And let's just see what words oh, we stumble oh, upon oh, as we. Oh. As we. As we. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Damn, Trevor. <laughs> you know, you start talking to yourself. Trevor, yeah. get your shit together. Yeah. Yeah, all right, my bad. I'll take that out. I'm going for third place. Come on. <laughs> if we were on Mars and there were no more stars, mm -hmm. only flying cars, girl, I never would leave you. If the world blew up and it was only dust and only us, don't you know I would reach you? Ted. Ah. Yeah. Damn, I'm back. That's a good song, Trevor. <laughs> Thank you, bro. That's a really, Appreciate really that. good song. I did not think of that. So in the video of this song, you're running through the rubbish. I direct, that's one of the first videos I directed. You directed that video? Yeah. Trevor, you are multi-talented. Thank you, man. That's a good, that was a good video. You yeah, know, I was thinking of, like, my life. Yeah. And kind of how I live it. Like, there's always things that go on, but there's always a place that I'm trying to get to. Mm. And I won't be deterred and I won't be stopped regardless of the chaos that's going on. So throughout the video, you see there's like- You know what? What? Watching him here, mm -hmm. he is very much just like this on Grownish. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's like laid yep. back, calm. Like, they told him, Trevor, just be you. <laughs> and, and, and that's exactly what he did. Exactly. Like, I'm sitting here and I'm like, this is exactly how he acted on Grownish. <laughs> so he was not acting. That's exactly how he is. He was, yeah, he was just being himself. <laughs> and I think he had a rat tail in there too. Yep. Yeah, he does. He's not getting, he's not letting that go, I see. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would get me one in the back. I can't have one? No. Why not? No, I do not like them rat tails. I'm a, yeah, I'm a grown uh -uh. one. Starting the day. <laughs> I'm finna go take some oil and put it in that one spot. <laughs> so my hat grow a little faster right you there. Just that put, one you spot. just tie that up in that do rag, too. <laughs> <laughs> You know, people get in the car accidents, they're fighting, they're trying to take my chain, they're trying mm. to bug me, but I'm like still moving forward. Mm. And so that's why uh, I feel like, one, any life that you live, if you have a goal, it should be like that, but also love. I feel like, you know, that's that's how it should feel. If you're like, nothing's gonna stop me from making sure. Even though this isn't perfect, even though that this relationship we're in is annoying and you don't always know what I'm doing when you're not around. Yeah, yeah. Even, you know, all, all the things I'm saying that it's like, at the end of the day, I'd rather do this BS with you. If that's, even if it is BS or if it's great or if it's mediocre, I'd want it to be those things with you. If I gave you the word never, what hits your mind? Mm. Uh, no. Never can say goodbye. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no. <laughs> never can say goodbye. Oh, girl, <laughs> in my life. I'm sorry. Has never what? Never the same. He ain't too far off either. Nah, he not ain't at too all. Because <laughs> girl, you can't entertain. The way I walk, the way I talk, I cannot explain. Uh, way, W-A-Y. I don't mind, I don't mind way. Don't let me go, don't let me go, don't let me go out of my way. Because I might go out of my out of my way. All right. That's your song. It is a good one, too. Thanks for listening. It's off the, oh, I got you, bro. It's off the latest one, Rough Drafts Part 2. Rough Drafts Part 2. Rough Drafts Part 2 is, is a gem. Thank you, man. Trevor. Thank you very much. I Rough Drafts 3 is done. Let me know when you want to hear it. Wait a minute. It's, wait, 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 wait. It's a third part to this series? It's done. It's done. It's done? Finished. You just I have put that out, in the wait, next album done. You just put out Rough Drafts <laughs> 2 two months ago. I know, I know. It's been done since before Rough Drafts 2 was out. I'm telling you, bro, I've had my computer, there's about 200 songs. 
and because you have to do things the way the yeah, world yeah, 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 needs yeah, yeah, you to yeah, do yeah. them, you mm-hmm. can't put out music when you make right. it, which sucks because then when I put it out, it feels old to me and I'm like, over it. This man has just confessed to the court of Terrell <laughs> that he has 200 plus songs on a hard drive sitting somewhere. Just sitting, just sitting. So any fans that live in LA, you can just come and listen to new music and not record it. Oh, I'm coming. On Rough Drops 2, at the beginning, I was real turnt. Yep. Right? I was like, oh! That's what it's for, that's what it's for, okay. yeah, yeah. And then we got, then we got sexual. Then we get into our feelings. We got into mm, feelings, sexual feelings. Yes, exactly. Which are still feelings, guys. Don't let the world lie to you. Puddles! Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dip. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then we got, we got deep into relationships. You kind of hit a lot of things on this project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, those, it, that's why I'm saying these new Rough Drafts, the series is the realest music I've made because it's all very, very, like, day after something happens in yeah. like, a song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not like, oh, okay, guys, let's all get in the studio because I make everything in my living room. Like, literally, I have two speakers, a mic, and I just sit down and write it and then Shut record up. myself and do it, yeah. But it's very much like, yo. Wait, you record, like, the actual final project? Like, the actual song? Yourself? No, yeah, yeah, the mic's here and I just, yeah. I do everything. Oh, yeah, oh, my oh, brother oh, oh. will like help, in, like when it's done, like clean it up and then we'll send it to, you know, mix it mastering. But everything I, I sit there and record myself, yeah. You're joking. No. That is not some, that is, don't breeze by this. Hold on. So you're not sitting in your living room recording like the demo. You're recording the song that's gonna go on yeah, yeah, the yeah, album. Yeah, yeah, everything. Even Rough Drafts 1 in guitar too. I'll just plug in. Literally, I don't even think you're supposed to do this, but. I just take the uh, guitar amp and put it in front of the mic and then just record and then play my guitar through it like that. So you just, you know, you gotta make it work, man. You can't wait on You can't wait on people. Cause if nobody, Thanks. you gotta understand. That's right. This is getting, getting studio time and then getting people together. Not only is it expensive, yeah. but you know, it's just a lot of planning, a lot of stuff. Yeah. He said, F that, I'm gonna do it myself. Yeah, I wanna wake up out of the bed and write a song. You Warm know what, you, I, Trevor, I've, I already respect you. Thank you, man. But the respect level has just <laughs> increased. <laughs> thank you. That's amazing. Thank you, thank you. Right! And that's R.I.G. Oh, and Right now, right now, right now, yeah. <laughs> you knew that's what I was gonna do. That ain't how you sing that song <laughs> on the record. <laughs> I need you to t- look right and look dead into this camera lens here, and I want people who haven't heard that song to literally run to Spotify. Go ahead. Got it. Stand right here Let me show you what I'm about to do to that body Yeah, baby Yeah, baby <laughs> And come down here Let me show you where to touch my body mm-hmm. At the floor, baby Yeah Bet you now had this before. Mm. Because <laughs> once I go in, I'm gonna have you begging for more. Yeah, I need you like right, right now, right now, right now, yeah, right now. Ooh, can we make some love right now? Like right now, right now, right now. Ooh, right now. Ooh. Can we make some love like right now? Whoa, whoa. Trevor, there's a music video that accompanies that song. Yeah, directed that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like that. It's the greatest love story ever, which is Adam and Eve. Uh-huh. Uh, you should check it out. Uh-huh. It's very good. Yeah, it starts um, off. There's a lot of just emotion. Mm. The way he just say, you should check it out, it's very good. You right. know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, okay, humble. <laughs> I love that how humble he is. Okay. Like, he's just like, you should check it out. out. It's very yeah, good. That's good. And purpose. <laughs> A bite out of the great apple. Y'all, Trevor showed his ass. Okay? <laughs> Literally. Showed his ass. <laughs> hey, you got to be true to the story. Okay, I'm here to do actual interpretation. I don't know what video was that on video because for the first I didn't time. Have to do I, 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 I said, well, this is art, people. <laughs> thank you, thank you. If it's on YouTube, they probably yellow marked it or age restricted it. Oh, so. okay. Yeah, because I'm sitting here like. Because mm-hmm. if they age restricted uh, Sam Smith video. Oh, they better have age restricted <laughs> that. They should have blocked that because there was not any cheeks showing in our Sam Smith video. It was, but it was, it was a suit. 
it wasn't the actual cheeks. Oh, shoot. That... It wasn't like... But, you know, because I think when we watched it, I was like, you know, they, they body showed it. Yeah. But it was mm-hmm. a suit. It wasn't actual. It was yeah. like one of those suits that looked like... With the like, butt cheeks cut out? No, it looked like it looked like a body, but it oh. wasn't actually the body. Oh, you know yeah, 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 yeah. I know that's yeah. right, yeah. Art. That's a new one, artists. <laughs> everything's, <laughs> everything's art. <laughs> <laughs> and you yeah. directed it. Ain't nobody tell you to do that. I'm a nudist, I believe, deep down in my soul. I'm in my house. I'm at least in my underwear. I prefer to be barefoot and butt naked everywhere I'm at, but you can't do that legally, so I got to put on jeans and a shirt. You know what I mean? But I just feel like this gets in the way of where I want to move. You know what I'm saying? Right. It pulls and stuff. Yeah. You know? Now you just invited half of the people watching this to come to your house and so listen to your music. I'll open the door with a cup of Joe, and that's it. Ah! <laughs> listen to Roxy. Puddles, puddles. Now we gotta change the sheets before we cut cuddle. I'm singing in the rain just Dancing to the noise you make it. I just love it when you make love. This here ain't something that I can make up. Candy coated rain drops. That's how you taste me, oh girl. You ain't gotta hide your face. Want you to see me while I'm sipping on bottles, bottles. R&B song got this word in it. Okay. Baby. <laughs> uh, I don't want to do this, but I have to. Baby, baby, baby. No. What song is that? It's Justin, Justin Bieber. Oh, you sang it so funny. I did. Just because I hate that that was the no. first one. It's the only one that comes Pick another one. You got one better than that. Uh, <clears throat> Your contagious touch me, baby. Okay. Give me there what we go. you got. Back. Okay. okay. Sing that song. Let me just say I love Grownish. This must be a new season. We know we didn't I love finish. Grown-ish. We didn't finish the season. So I wonder is that because this No, we looks, haven't finished. We I'm about to say finished. that looks new. I mainly watch it when I go to my treatments, but yeah. I lo- I absolutely adore Grownish. I need to start back watching it then. Cause you I don't do, know cause what you I gotta missed. catch up to me. Well, I didn't know we was, we was watching it. I mean, I started it without you. Oh, well, and I you thought... didn't seem that interested in it. How? We was watching it together. Afterwards. <laughs> it right. doesn't matter. Okay. I'll catch up. All right. Okay. <laughs> um, it's good show. <laughs> You're on there with, with Yara. Yara. And Francine. Yes. 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 Jordan. Big yeah, show. Man. Good spinoff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you get that one? So when I was at. Uh, I was at Sundance for Burning Sands, which mm-hmm. was a, a Netflix movie I did, and I met Kenya, and we were at some party, and I was lit, and he was, you know, he came to me, and he's like, hey, yo, man, I got to talk to you about project. I'm like, yeah, I hear that every time mm-hmm. from all these people, and they never do anything, right? So I just thought he was talking, mm-hmm. and then literally I get back, and he was like, uh, yo, yo, I'm going to bring you in for this uh, project. I want you to audition, but I auditioned like everybody else. Yeah. came in, I just looked in there, there's a whole bunch of people in there. Yeah. Uh, I just want to say Burning Sands is a tough movie to watch. It is. It, is. Burning it was Sands, good. It was, it's really, really good. It opens your eyes. But it's a, it can be a tough movie to watch. could like, be triggering. I, um, I don't remember who I told about that movie and they came back and it was like that. They couldn't even finish it. I wish I knew they who the hell it was. But yeah, I told somebody about that movie. I believe it was at an old job or something like that. Probably. And she was like, I couldn't. She was like, it was good, but she was like, I couldn't finish it. Yeah. It like it was it was it's tough audition and he was oh yeah oh yeah sick and then i got it and then oh. uh, yeah Bronish happened and, and it's you're filming the third season right mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. dude how does it feel to be on a series it's, it's an way honor. different than a movie it's an honor dude it's it's uh it's good because you just keep getting another swing at the bat you know right. I mean, in movies when you're doing like oh i wish i could but then you get to go on the next episode and maybe try something new yeah um, but also it's fun because you get to you know they start writing the character to who you are they start mm-hmm. learning who you are and I just get to go to have fun, man, you know? Yeah. Again, it's like another escape for me. When I'm stressed about life, I get to go and just... My problem is I eat a lot. A lot of food. Mm. I don't know if you noticed when I came in here, I grabbed the chips. And he did. Food. That's the first thing he did. I didn't even say hello to them for me. I said, I... yeah, are these chips for everyone? Because I want some. And that's my issue on set. And, you know, they got donuts. I'm like, Trevor, you will set not... food is ridiculous. I talk, it, I talk it in my head when I want you will not have a donut today. You will not have... And I have about three donuts. <laughs> 
Yeah. But how do you stay in good shape doing all them donuts? I don't know. That's God. That's God. Not God. That's it 23. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that is. You just wait on it. Oh, It'll shit. Catch up. Oh, shit. Rock. I just want to be big rock stars, living hilltop, and just driving 15 cars. The drugs come easy and the dust come cheap. And I'll stay skinny because we just won't need it. Hang out in the coolest bars with the music dictionary. Oh, no, sorry. I thought he was going to do rock the boat. <laughs> rock the boat, rock the boat, baby, now rock the boat. Don't tip the boat. Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. Talking about Aaliyah. Uh, the girl is bad. Mm -hmm. The girl is dangerous. Dangerous. You love music from the past. <laughs> oh, just, me too. I like that. It's better. It's better. It's better. A lot it's better. better. Yeah. What, what happened to us? I feel like we, and I, you know who I can't blame anymore? I can't blame the people making it. I'm going to blame the world because mm. we're accepting it. And the people listening. Factuals. Is there, what the, the pe it's the people listening. <laughs> <laughs> we keep letting it be, you know, we keep saying, that's what we want, that's what we, and it's, you know, people are going to do what they know people are going to listen to, and we keep complaining about wanting good music, but all we want to hear is garbage. Sorry. That That's true, because we complain about wanting, to, wanting better music, but we keep listening to the very music that we keep complaining about. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I'm saying it. No, listen, the consumer has a responsibility in they this. They do, and if you keep buying BS, people are gonna make BS because guess what those BS people are telling the other BS people? The only way to make money is to make this. That's every label ever. That's the truth. This is what's selling, we have to do this because this is where the world is right mm -hmm. now. I found a love for me. Mm. Darling, just die right in front of my lead. I found a girl, mm -hmm. beautiful and sweet. Mm -hmm. I never knew you'd be that someone waiting for me. Cause we were just kids when we fell in love. Not knowing what it was, I will not give you up this time. Darling, just kiss me slow. Your heart is all it is all I know. And in your mind, you're holding mine. Maybe. Oh, I thought he was going to hit that. With these endings. I thought he was going to hit that. <laughs> other me too. I'm waiting. <laughs> <now. laughs> can't start if you can't finish, man. You got to do it all. <laughs> That was amazing. Wait, wait. Well, yes, you're stuck. No, you don't. When she d <laughs> don't do him in these streets. She trying to tell you that she can do the accent. Oh she not my! Know how to do it. He makes sure it sound like complete. What is sound it? like garbage. We say like garbage. Like a bacon in that. Like man doesn't really get it. You feel me? Like, you have to just drink the water <laughs> and not like, take a good sip, and you're right. Yo, I would totally believe it. If I saw I'm him. not gonna lie to you, I've done this a few times and uh it's worse. For who? For my better. Yeah. On who? Who you trying on? On random people that like a bar and like it. Random people. You oh, be random. picking up girls. They like it. They like it. <laughs> I sell them on extra royale with cheese and they're like, oh my god, we never heard that before. What is that? I say it's like a Burger King sandwich. We like we call it that. <laughs> and they love it. You know who else loves it? Hollywood. They give all the fucking British guys our rose, and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Why don't we go over there and do the accents? I'm ready. Take me over there. Let's go. No, honestly, let's talk about it. I love it. <laughs> honestly, let's talk about it. They I really it. They do. do. They yeah. give them all of it. You yeah. know why? Because I feel like they don't want to say, oh, he's not really black, so we can use him. You know what I'm saying? Damn. That's what I feel like in the back of the head is happening. It's like, oh, he's not fully black. And to all people who are British and black, yes, we know you're black, but there's a difference between being black in America and being black in the UK. Just There's a big difference. Huge difference. So when they hire people to play black people, I'm just like, why do I think British? I know. Time? I always be shot during the interviews. Every I'm yeah, like, oh, every shoot. time though. <laughs> I'm like, we do a billion people over here that can do it anyway. That's real. That's just some stresses that I brought from my life into the interview. Uh -huh. I apologize. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, it's, but it's real. So Trevor was that also on a show thing. called American Crime on ABC, yeah. where you played Kevin, right? Yeah, Kevin LaCroix. Te Kevin LaCroix. And yeah. what was his character? He played a uh, basketball player, the team captain, mm -hmm. the best basketball player like in real life, typically. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, no, I'm accused of rape of another 
basketball player, a teammate. That's deep. Yeah, super deep, man. And, and that kind of like rekindled the flame of love for me when it comes to like acting. Oh. I was gonna quit actually before that audition. I was You're over. Gonna quit? Yeah, I, I, Why? it was because Snowfall was happening. I auditioned like eight times. God raised John Singleton. Mm -hmm. guy. But I auditioned like eight times for that, and John Singleton was like, yo. You're it, man. You're it. And then you sent me to a uh, network with like three other people, and the network was like, we don't like any of them recast it. And I was yeah. like, man, I'm done. I'm done. Really? I'm finished. And so then I got the call from American Crime, and my mom was like, just go, just go. I was like, I don't want to go at all. Like, mm. I don't want. She's like, just go. I was like, fine, man, fine. So she takes me there. I didn't even look at the script before I get there. I like mm -hmm. grabbed it off the little thing. They called me in. And I was like, all right. Here we go. And they picked your ass. <laughs> <laughs> was well, for you. What? Well, 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 let me tell you something, man. When God got something set up for you, not even you can mess it up. Okay. Okay. Because if you went in there with that type of attitude and that type of energy, they could have right. very well been like, "Nope, next." You know what I'm saying? And if yeah. they chose you and you and you went in there like that. That was for you. Yeah, a lot right. of people be like, no, I wouldn't have took that role. That's that's one of them type of roles where actors talk about it later on in life and they're like, I wish I would have never did that role. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, man, when God got something set up for you, you you can't even mess it up. I definitely think that, um, like you said, like if he said he auditioned for Snowfall, so I want to see talking about like the actual Snowfall show, like with yeah, that's okay. the Snowfall I know about. So when I sit back and think about how the show is a snowfall yeah, and I feel him like he being it in off. it, I feel like, I don't feel like that's, I don't feel like that's a role for him be yeah. because like looking at all the other roles he played, I feel like he play a role that has some kind of meaning yeah. almost like, because like in burning sands, like, you know, it he was, was in, tell a story it was telling that, a story yeah. in Grownish. He's basically, you know, this yeah. kid in college going through the motion. All the trials of college right. students. Yeah. American crime. That uh, did he say that was based on a? Or, I'm or, not sure, but it know. had to do with you know him being accused of raping. Right. So and I feel that like stuff he has, happens in life for real. Yeah, I feel like he has like meaningful roles. meaningful roles yeah. where he's trying to tell a story or he's trying to get people to understand yeah. stuff and i feel like snowfall snowfall is, i feel like it's for our entertainment we just like a little drama a little little bunch of a little kid here and a little little, little little drug dealing here there type yeah. of action on somebody yeah. else's mm -hmm. terms we don't want to have no involvement in it we just want to watch something Facts. exciting Facts. but i don't i feel like you know i mean he might have could have did a good role in there but i don't i feel like I feel like he could have pulled it off. I feel like he could have pulled it off. I feel like he could have pulled it off. But we don't also don't know what role what he applied role? for either. So he applied. Because he could have applied for uh, Leon. True. He might have been a good Leon. True. You know what I'm saying? But I, I have to. See, I, see now I kind of want to. I wish I, I, wish I knew wanna, what role he applied for. Yeah, and I kind of want to see I think like a snippet of him in Burning Sands. And, like I need to watch his movies again because... I feel like you want to know which one you need to watch to compare him to Snowfall. The closest comparison you might get out of what I know he done acted in is probably Superfly. Maybe because like I I just I this his personality I just kind of see yeah just yeah you know like a ser not serious but or sarcastic funny because in yeah. Grownish he'd be like sarcastic funny yeah, like he says stuff funny that's fun. funny yeah. but he don't say it like in the hee hee ha ha like he say it and you just be like oh that's funny yeah like, it's the funny stuff. that make you roll your eyes but it was funny you <laughs> exactly. know what I'm saying? It's like it's, it's like you know what I'm saying you always yeah. gotta be the smart guy type, type <laughs> right thing. exactly oh my god we're gonna bring you a network that was phenomenal I was like what <laughs> cool so I go to network and then I did a show, but the show itself, like working with those people and then the, the creator, director, um, uh, John Ridley, just the way he was doing stuff. He it, it was like, he was one of the first person, uh, people that I've worked with that kind of like rubbed me the wrong way in a sense of like, but the right way. Like he was doing it for a purpose that I didn't get right. at the time. Like he would make me mad. Like, oh, don't do it. Like keep your hands, like keep telling me certain things. I was mm -hmm. like, why is he asking for that? Like, why do you keep... And then I see it when I watch it back. I was like, oh, he's, everything was so meticulous in his head. It was his right. drawing, it was his painting. Yeah. And I was just one of the brushes to make it happen, right? Wow. So I was like, ah. Oh. So that's why I wanted to start directing after I saw him do that. Is it safe to say that if you had not done that show, got that opportunity, you would have not done? Oh yeah, none of that. You wouldn't have been on Grownish. Burn Sands, Superfly, Superfly. Grownish, none of that. Really? And yeah. you would not have been directing your own stuff? No. I would wow. have been probably just doing music. 
Wow. Yeah, I was really down. I was like, I want to focus on music. I won't do none of this. And that happened. I was like, oh, I love it again. Everything Things works. Everything's a plan, place. dude. That's why I just smile and wave. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't stress out. You can't stress out. Yeah. Even when you okay, do stress Nipsey. out, you got to like live in that for like 2.5 seconds mm -hmm. and then... That's right. I always say that. Yeah. Be human first. Yeah, but you then can be do a it. G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can cry. You can sit down and be like, oh, I hate everything that's going on right now. But I also love everything that's going on right, right. now. Right. Because I know that in, in my experience, nothing has ever happened and hasn't made sense later. Preach. You. What you got? You and I must make the price. Salvation. We must bring salvation back. Yeah, yeah. I just had a moment, right? I was thinking we was in the corner again. I was, and just now I was like, oh, I forgot to move us over. <laughs> oh, we're not there anymore. Just, just slow Where moment. there is love, ooh, I'll be there. Hi, Mom. Mom, thank you. you. Know. Mm -hmm. You've been doing a great job. <laughs> you, because she's been by your side. Of course, of course. Dude, <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I'm Thanks, so man. happy for everything that's you going too. on in your life. Thank Start you. Your shit. I don't know how Can this happened. Shit? Thanks. You do know how it happened. We're just... About the grace of who? Ah, ha, ha. Don't do me. <laughs> <laughs> God! <laughs> I would have never guessed that you were on the brink of stopping your acting career. Yeah, 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 for like, sure. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. So thank you for being open and honest and vulnerable uh, on this camera. Everybody, continue to be that way. If yeah. not that way already. Like, it's no, I feel like, again, I don't want to say this, but like, you know, we got people out here killing themselves because they feel like who they are is not enough. You were enough. You've got to continue to be yourself. And just because people around you doesn't get it doesn't mean that, that, that just means nothing. You know what I'm saying? So. Continue to evolve and be thankful that we're alive. If you're not, if you're still breathing, you got more you have to do. And that's, mm. uh, yeah, otherwise, why Why are we here? Trevor, you and better be 23. Crazy, there'd be wow. no movie. There'd be no movie if it was good from the beginning to the end. You'd be like, this movie's boring and it sucks. How about we leave the theater? But if you have a movie where the character's getting beat down and he's almost on the brink of death, mm -hmm. yeah. and everyone's making fun of him and everyone's bullying him and everyone's, then he turns around and becomes the owner of Amazon, ah. Jeff Bezos, 170 billion. Mm. I hate that guy. I'm kidding. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, there'll be no movie, so you gotta do it. Push through, push through. That's it. What? You better preach on this blue wall. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Trevor Jackson. Thanks for watching the Terrell Show. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, and yeah, I think we're gonna cue the rain right now. Let's do it. Mm. <laughs> feel that? It's not a joke. This is motion in your ocean. You feel me? <laughs> How's that look? <laughs> yeah, I definitely have to go check out his uh check out his music. Yeah. Cause I swear I did not know that man could sing. And he sounds damn good at Yeah. Too. Yeah. And I'm trying so hard to stop cussing because YouTube has upped their regulations and stuff. And it's just it's hard, y'all. But <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that was real good. That was good. That yeah, was good. I really enjoyed the episode. But yeah, man, if you like the vibes, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share and hit the post notification so you know every time we drop a new video. We on the road to 3K and 3K. we are out.